I mean, let's keep it real. There's politics in all aspects and all parts of all businesses, point blank, period. I mean, that honestly goes without saying. But I believe the politics in nursing, especially in long-term care, hits a little bit different than the average or than any other particular type of career field. You can live pretty well by yourself. What's good, everybody? It's your man, CJ, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again back with another video. So again, politics. At some point, whether you're a new nurse, a seasoned nurse, or whatever kind of nurse you are, LPN, RN, CRNA, NP, you're going to have to deal with the politics of it. Now, I can only speak about what I know. And what I do know about is long-term care and assisted living. And I'm going to try to tell you on how to avoid playing a political game that is long-term care nursing or assisted living. Now, one thing that I can say, I truly believe that politics can be avoidable within the long-term nursing care game or within the assisted living. It just takes a strong person to do it. It takes a strong willed individual to not get sucked in by the drama, not to become friends with people, not to become buddy buddy. Because again, if you work a lot like myself, 70 hours a week, you inevitably become cool with some people, you find people that you like, some people that you have common interests with. It happens in every job. The thing is, you have to be very, very careful when these things do take place because I've worked. Well, I haven't worked in that many different fields. I've been a truck driver. I've worked at Burger King and I've worked in the movies and those were pretty much like the only jobs I've ever had. Oh, and I was a caregiver for a while, like working with mentally handicapped people. And when I tell you there's politics, politics and everything, there's definitely politics and everything, even when it comes to fast food. But I have never and I have and I do mean never, never seen politics and drama the way I have within this field, especially in long-term nursing or in assisted living. Now, I will say this, the way that you avoid it is just to avoid it, not to get in it. When people ask you about another coworker, don't say nothing about them. I don't know, I haven't heard. When you hear the latest drama or the latest gossip go down, not really interested, I don't know, I haven't heard not really worry about what they're doing over there i mean because it's gonna happen it's gonna come up you're gonna see it it happens in every career field and sometimes it could go as far as management sometimes it goes as far as your regular co-workers and your employees the point is you just need to avoid it avoid it avoid it avoid it get your money get in and get out if it's some drama at the job Tell your girl, tell your dude, whoever. Tell somebody that's within your home that you can trust. Because some stuff is crazy and, and sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. But tell somebody you can trust. But as far as the drama and the politics, you got to avoid that at all costs if you want to get your money. Because at the place I'm at now, like I said, it's pretty good. We play games with the hours a little bit, but that's a part of the game. I really try hard to keep my nose out of other people's business. You feel me? I try hard to keep my nose out of other people's drama. And I notice the most drama tends to happen normally on day shift. Maybe for some of y'all it's different. Maybe it could be nights, afternoons. I don't know. But let me know in the comments right now. When does the most drama tend to take place? Let me know. Now, there is a such thing as playing the game, right? Um, there's a such thing as playing a game, and I guess that is a form of being a politician when you really do think about it. Now, to me, this is how I play the game. Politics, if that's what you want to call it, fine. I don't call it politics, but I call it simply just playing the game. You have to understand what kind of position that a lot of these places are coming from. They're short. They're not really in a position to fire anybody. But they will, as they should, right? I've always looked at it like this. 
even though nobody's obligated to do anything for you from a business point of view and a business standpoint, uh, some of the times, places, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. How does that translate to nursing, right? So it depends on what you want, number one. As far as long-term care is concerned, this is only a pit stop for me. As much as I like this place, it's a pit stop for me. Yes, it's great money, great money. It's easy money, but a pit stop nonetheless because the ultimate goal is to be able to work and run a business without having to ever step foot into anything. I could do it from my computer on a cruise ship. That's the ultimate goal. I don't care about making 250 grand a year. I don't care about that. Well, let me not say I don't care about that. Let's just say that I want to be financially independent. I care about that more than putting a dollar sign on it. I want to be, cause I want to be a millionaire, but I'm not harping on that. If that makes sense. Like I feel like it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen eventually, but Again, I don't want to put a number on it because my true happiness not lies within my travels, right? So as long as I can do that, that is the ultimate goal for me and still be able to generate income and be able to generate money from anywhere in the world. But anyway, like I said, I like to travel. I come in, I pick up shifts. We have a verbal agreement, right? Because nobody's obligated to do anything for you. We have a verbal agreement that when I pick up these shifts and I come in, I expect for you to scratch my back. So that means when I request these days off, right? When I request them off, I expect you to do what you're supposed to do and have them off with no issues. I've had this discussion with my DON and we've agreed. Now, here's the thing. It's nothing, if it's not in paper, if it's not on paper and it's not a, a document, nothing is guaranteed. And I know that and I understand that. And so do they. Because it's not guaranteed that I'll come in and pick up whenever they are in trouble. That's not a guarantee. But <clears throat> you show your value. You show your worth. You show that you're a player that they will be foolish to get rid of. Even though they can get rid of you at any moment. They're not obligated to keep you. You show that you are the one. Right? So far, our arrangement has worked out. I request these days off. They give them to me. I help y'all when y'all need to help. You scratch my back. I scratch yours. And you will be surprised how far that will go because you will be surprised how many people call off, how many people don't want to work, how many people just don't want to be within the field of nursing, period. So I feel like in some places, if you do show your worth and you play the game and you play it fairly on your part, because don't ever expect them to be 100% fair on their part. This is why you have to bend the career field of nursing to your will, right? But if you play the game for the most part, people generally want easier times in the workplace. So if you play the game and you do it right, usually if it's within reason, they will give you what you want. I haven't really had an issue with any, um, with any employer that I've had as far as what I've wanted and what I've expected as far as my days off, right? Never had an issue. It's always been very, very smooth. Even with this place I'm at now, it's been very smooth, which I'm very grateful for because I've seen YouTube videos from different nurses and when they take travel assignments and stuff like that, the scheduler will be on some BS. And it's normally in a hospital setting. I've never worked in a hospital setting, so I can't really speak on that. So, um, I don't know, that's crazy. But anyway, that's how I've always saw politics. That's how I've always saw playing the game with the nursing, right? Avoid the drama, show your value, show your worth. Let them know that you are somebody that is not to be played with. Let them know, you can let them know without letting them know that you have options. Let them know that you are a team player. Let them know that you will do what you have to do. And if they look out for you, you look out for them. Nothing more, nothing less. And that is why people get so caught up and so emotional within the job because some people go all out their way for a job who would never go out their way for them. You only do what they do. You give them the exact same energy. The energy that they give you, you give them. That way nobody's hurting the end. You feel me? So that's today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you got something out of that. 
My name is CJ, aka the High Value Nurse. Please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss none of the content. And if you don't do nothing else, get paid. Young nurse, get paid. Peace.